Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my fellow Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You guys, this is going to be your Mercury retrograde reading. So Mercury is in Cancer going retrograde on the 18th, but it's falling on the fixed star of Sirius. Okay, Mercury is going to be retrograde until July 12th. Sirius, which is also known as the dog star, it also holds the energy of Isis. Sirius is a brilliant star. It's one of the biggest in the sky. It's a star of wealth, abundance, honor, passion, and resentment. So please be careful of what you guys are saying during Mercury retrograde because it can be misconstrued. When Sirius connects with Mercury retrograde, it can help us make decisions that lead us on a path towards abundance. So what I'm going to do is I just got my new Oracle deck, the Isis Oracle in time for this reading. So I can already see, you know, this is, this was a destined set of readings for you guys that needed to come out. Um, and I'm doing it on the 18th, which is the day of Mercury retrograde on June 18th. But we also, you know, we have this period until the 12th. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull an Isis Oracle for you guys, and then I'm going to pull some tarot and some other Oracle cards just to give you a really quick overview of this Isis energy, Mercury retrograde, serious energy for my dear Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and really any placement you might have if you feel drawn to watch this video, then there's a message in there for you, or in here for you. The brother in darkness, overcoming negative energy with feminine power. Ooh, all right, you guys. So I'm going to read from the book. This is by Alana Fairchild. Um, and just give me one second. If I can find it. All right, so overcoming negative energy with feminine power. Let's take a look at this card. Whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. The brother in darkness indicates that there is negative energy either within you or outside of you, but directed towards you that is providing you with a spiritual test, beloved initiate. You shall overcome this energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. Ooh, hoo. Ooh, hoo. All right, you guys. Wow. Okay, especially for my light workers, you know, Mercury retrograde, we're going to have a lot of people. Mercury is in Cancer, it's in our sign. We're going to have a lot of people who are needing love and needing nurturing. It's for you to decide who you're letting in. Okay, and please be discerning. Also, most of you out there I know are empaths, light workers, um, energy healers, but you guys need to make sure that you're protecting yourselves, doing your balancing, make sure that you're meeting with somebody regularly, cutting cords, you're getting your own healings, and you're doing your protection, whatever, there's a lot of different ways to do protection out there, okay? So even if you're not, even if you're, you consider yourself an average Joe, which I know most of you are not, um, if any, but you know, then just make sure that you're protecting yourself. Also understand that we have lots of parasitic energy. We have lots of people reacting to the shift. Okay. The shifts that are taking place in Gaia and our communities and our countries and within, not everybody's dealing with it in a good way. Okay. So some of you guys need to just be a mirror. Okay, but you need that spirit saying you need to protect yourself or yourselves. Okay, you guys are coming out as justice. In your surroundings, you have the nine of swords in reverse. Yep. And you have the knave of pentacles. All right, but then you get the six of cups. Nice. Nice. Some of you guys are coming into union. 
Okay, that's either joining the masculine and the feminine within, and that's a sense of balance. Um, people are seeing you as sort of this empress energy, as, you know, as this maternal energy, as this powerful spiritual leader and healer. You might be getting some jealousy for the from those of from those that are not doing the work. Um, or they feel like, you know, maybe it's your job. For some of you, you're coming into union with your divine partner, but that's only after you've come into union within within, with your masculine and your feminine. Some people might see this relationship and they might be throwing shade at you. They might be jealous. They might be angry. All right. So please just watch out for that. Your overall energy here is the Knight of Pentacles. This is in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is that Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You might be dealing with this. This might be the person that's throwing shade at you. Okay. But I don't want this to be um, permission for you guys to go out and look for, you know, earth energy or somebody exhibiting these qualities who's out to get you. That's not what this is about. You're going to know if this is somebody that you're in a relationship with, somebody you work with, somebody in your family. The Knight of Pentacles energy is a very slow moving energy. This is somebody who's a little bit unimaginative, likes to take orders. They don't want to be a leader. They like getting the job done. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. They're very, they're very consistent. They're very hardworking. And the Knight of Pentacles, he never gets off his horse. But when he's in the reverse, something has come to a full stop. For some of you, this is, you know, that's why you're getting this negative energy. You've decided to leave a situation or a partner or a relationship or your home, okay? It, it will be many different things for all of you. And there are people at reacting negatively to you putting, you know, the kibosh on whatever this was. All right, so please be aware of that, you guys. Again, really important that you protect yourself. You guys are coming out as the Justice card. This is this energy of Libra, and it's also Venusian energy. So Libra is about love. It can be about money. It can be both, okay? It could be a relationship where you're dependent or somebody depends on you for you know financial stability. Um, this could be children. This could be a partner. This could be you know a, a job situation. It could be a family member, people you're taking care of. But the Justice card, this is telling me that you've weighed your options. You've thought about this. Um, you've thought about whatever decision this is. Um, and that you're, you, you, you've you been objective, okay? You've balanced out you know, the, the light and the dark of the situation. So what you're doing, whatever is coming to an end or whatever is full stop, okay? Whatever you're putting the kibosh on is something that is actually... It's something that you've thought about. For some of you, it might have to do with custody battles. It might have to do with co-parenting issues. And there's going to be something that's settled. And it's sort of taking it's something that took a really long time, but it's finally coming in. Okay? And you're going to have to protect yourself because some of you guys, you're winning. You're going to win this battle is what I'm getting. Or this court case or whatever. This, you know, for some of you, it might be a separation or it might be a divorce. And those are the proceedings. And you're going to win this. Okay, but there's a real need to protect yourself because you're going to be getting some nasty and not, you know, you're going to get some nasty energy coming your way because I'm feeling like it comes from envy, jealousy, anger. Remember Mercury retrograde and this Isis energy, the star of Sirius also has to do with resentment. Okay, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm also though getting that this is karmic justice. I'm not getting that you're losing here. Not at all because you end up with the six of cups. Okay, which is happiness. This is if you are in a custody battle for your children. Okay, and it doesn't necessarily have to be physical children. It could be your pets. It could be a project that you birthed and you created. Okay, but um, but that this is karmic justice. This is something that's a long time coming that maybe even you thought would never really go your way. It is going your way. But the caveat is it's also coming with people throwing some serious shade at you. Okay, so walls up, Cancer. I know that sounds so horrible because I know we have hard shells to begin with, but it's just to be have take that extra ep effort to do your healing, your balancing, um, and make sure that you're not drawn into this energy. Don't get sucked out of the energy that you're in because my cancers were in a good space right now. Okay, now we have the Nine of Swords. This is in your surroundings, and the Knave of Pentacles. So this is interesting. So for some of you, the Knave of Pentacles this does represent your children. Okay, or something that's sort of in the nation stage. 
Um, and then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is a high drama card. This is what's in your surroundings. I wish it were different, but it sort of plays into this whole message here that, you know, it's going to be exhausting. There's going to be a lot of negativity. Okay. There, that's why this protection card is coming out. There might be family drama. There might be friends taking sides. Um, you know, it could be coworkers. Whoops. Sorry. It could be a lot of different things. This Nine of Swords is not nice energy in your surroundings. It's really important, Cancer, that you're aware of that. And also be aware of where you stand. If you are always above board, take the high road. Don't let yourself get sucked into this because these people are reacting because you're doing, you're finally doing what's right for you. Okay, this is karmic justice and people, maybe somebody who had control over you or over the situation and they weren't acting appropriately, but spirits coming in and are going to clear it out and they're not going to like it. My light workers, some of my light workers out there, you're going to feel like you're being attacked. People are going to come at you. Um, it's really important that you be just a mirror, that you stand in your strength and that you don't react and you don't give them anything. Again, make sure that you guys have that sage running 24 <laughs> seven, you know, until even your neighbors look like they should call the fire department, right? Um, you know, to do things like that. And I'm only kidding with that, but make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're saging, you're doing what you need to do to protect yourself. Okay. The knave of pentacles is beautiful because it is about a new beginning. Um, and I like that because it's all, it's also all about the message I'm giving you right now is the preparation and the planning. This is something you've planned for. This isn't something that's going to really take you by surprise as in, you know, this is something that maybe you thought would never come to you, but it's something you've been hoping and you've been wishing for, for a really long time. For some of you, six of cups, this is soulmate energy. Okay. For some of you, some people are going to see you come coupling with someone or you're getting together with someone and it's a beautiful relationship and people are going to be throwing shade because they don't have that or because they're not there yet. The only way that you're going to call in your soulmate or your twin flame or whatever, your divine partner is when you have your balance, you, your masculine and your feminine energies balanced. Okay. It's not really going to happen before that. And so for my cancers out there who have been doing the work and this is your experience, remember, not everybody is going to think it's as lovely as you do right? For others of you, it's not about that. Some of you, this is about getting your children back or getting full custody or getting winning custody of your children in a court case. And this is what you deserve. Uh, Spirit wants me to tell you that you're an excellent parent. You're an excellent parent. You deserve this. There's a lot of drama around this situation. The people you've been dealing with haven't been above board. Okay. But it looks like things are working out for some of you. It's not going to have to do with love and relationships. It's not going to have to do with, um, you know, with children, but it's about, you know, what getting what's owed to you and finally stepping back into a place where you're really, really happy and blissful. And you feel like a kid again, it could be a family situation. It could be a move. Okay. It could have to do with the home, but remember Mercury, and cancer has so much to do with maternal energy. Some of you guys are, you know, you've been trying to have a baby for a long time and you're finally going to. For others of you, it's repairing relationships with your actual mother or with your children, okay? And this is what Mercury retrograde does. Remember, it's not about go, go, go results oriented. It's a lot about taking a time out, pull back, healing and clearing. All right, so let's go ahead and see. I'm going to pull some numerology cards for my cancers out there. Leadership. Yeah, I feel like some of my cancers, this is all about you taking... This is all about you taking the taking the lead here. Sorry, Spirit wants me to go back here to this feminine energy. I'm really picking up on Empress energy. She's not showing up here. But this, is, this has so much to do with you being a healer, a light worker, taking the lead in your own healing and then being a leader by example. So like not getting pulled into petty BS and you're gonna be just fine. It's not gonna be easy. There are definitely challenges here, Cancer, but there's some really beautiful things that are unfolding, really beautiful. Financial discipline, 48. Yeah, so for some of you guys, this has to do with money. It might have to do with a divorce. It might have to do with, you know, Ch you know, children custody. For some of you, it has to do with, you know, getting the job that you've always, um, you know, the, always th that you've been, that you've been hoping and praying for, and it's finally coming back to you, or you're getting an offer. Now, when you guys get offers and contracts during Mercury retrograde, it can be tricky. You have to go over all of the details. 
please, please, please don't forget that. Signing contracts during Mercury retrograde, you can easily miss a caveat or an addendum or something like that that, you know, really won't make you happy in the long run, okay? So please use caution. And then also this is about, you know, tightening things up, being a leader, tightening up so you guys so you can really get through this situation most of my cancers out there you guys do have savings i know we like we don't like to be unprepared okay so but if you don't again this is also maybe a little bit of a warning make sure that you have a little bit of a nest egg okay don't go and spend everything you've got okay some of you might have spent a lot of money on whatever this is, a person or a lawyer, okay, and you feel really drained, but, you know, you'll get through it. You'll be fine. All right. I'm pulling, this is from the um, Angels and Ancestors book. These two wanted to come out. Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. I love that. That's Mercury retrograde energy. A spirit wants me wants you to really take a look and see where any negativity, where you might have a little bit of a leaky aura, aura, or where you might feel a little bit vulnerable. Now, this isn't to say if you're feeling vulnerable, then like close up shop. No, but it's like look and see where you might be getting, where you can tighten up, where you can tighten up your you know the purse strings, where you can tighten up your inner, your auric field, okay, what is it you need to focus on, where can you bring more balance in, I see you doing that though with this Libra energy, but, um, you know, this is also a reminder here that you are protected, you know, you are protected from above, and look at that, protection guardian, drop your shields, <laughs> yeah, but I'm actually getting here that, I'm getting that this message here is, is, this message here is like, look at this. She's got these peacock feathers. Peacocks are all about letting it shine. Let your gifts out. Step into your power. Step into your role. You can overcome negative energy without completely shutting down. But I am getting that drop your shields as in, you know, the opposite of this message. I know that sounds so crazy, but the opposite of this is like, you know, you do need to be aware and you do need to be prepared. You're going to win this. Okay, you're gonna you're coming out on top here. Okay, but you're gonna get it's gonna come with consequences. It's gonna come with a little bit of shade. So even though you are dropping, you know, you will be able to sort of drop your shields after this verdict is, you know, comes down the line. Okay, but I'm saying not completely. Okay, but I but I think it's, you know, spirits affirmation confirmation here that you know that you've won this hold on one second i want to get you something look i just i love this i this is a ring that i have uh that i got from a friend of mine who made it this is a beautiful ring and this is an uh, a pre-columbian i believe this is a bird it's beautiful. I don't know if Spirit wanted me to get that out and show you. You are divinely protected in this situation, okay? And so when I was saying here, yes, there is a need to sort of protect yourself, to be aware and be prepared, but don't let it get to your head. Don't let it freak you out because there is divine guidance here for you. Okay, there is, there's divine guidance and divine protection. What's happening, what's unfolding, this is karmic justice. Okay, so spirit saying, don't be afraid here. Okay, do not be afraid. And as I'm looking at this bird, you know, this is amethyst in here and amethyst is the great healer. You're going to heal from this, this, whatever this outcome is for you guys, this six of cups energy, this childlike joy, okay, whether it's soulmate, whether it's your children, whether it's just emotional balance, um, it's coming into this understanding it's going to be really healing and with this bird that's coming out here you guys it's really about seeing the big picture because with mercury you know we tend to get it, it rules gemini and virgo right and virgo can be that over analytical energy and gemini is sort of that small movements and those details and chatty and spirit saying it's time now i know why i had to pull this out for you it's time to see the big picture and seeing the big picture and and seeing that you deserve this and that this is another battle fought and won okay by you and that you are divinely protected 
Okay, that, um, you know, that there's, this is going to put in, this is this time period, this Mercury and Cancer time period is a time of healing this situation so you can move on to bigger and better things. So you can get your life back because for some of you, this involves your money. Some of you, this has been a battle, you know, for your children or for your home or for your assets and it's really drained you, okay? And spirit saying it's going to be okay, okay? But do, you know, take this time to reflect on everything that's happened, the battles that are won and that have been lost and then transmuting all of that energy into your wisdom, your divine wisdom, cancer. All right. I hope this makes sense for you guys. I, I know I got like, I got a little bit, I, when this shield came out, I'm, I was thinking, why, why spirit are you asking me to do this? But I hope it's clear for you now. All right. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.